If you're owner of the Bose QC35 II, like myself, and you're looking to upgrade to the Bose noise cancelling headphone 700, stay tuned for a real conversation. You know, Kevin, when a company releases new products, you expect them to be bigger and better. But bigger ain't always better. That's right, but what are we talking about? Oh, yeah. These headphones are bigger and they don't fold. With some effort, the QC35 twos can fit in your pockets. The 700s, not so much. Which makes them a little more annoying to travel with. And bigger hardware should come with bigger software. I agree. Just like the Bose Music app. Yep. Unlike the Bose Connect, the Bose Music app is definitely bigger. It even needs a Bose ID to use. So be ready to let go of some of your private data to Bose. Yay. The app does have many more options. Only problem, it took a million tries to get the app to work. You know what else doesn't work, Evan? Wind noise cancelling which is important to me in a cycling-friendly country like the Netherlands. The QC35 II would cancel the noise when you switched it to low mode, but I haven't quite found anything like that on the 700s. If you do know something, leave a comment down below. Another thing that's low is the comfort of the new headphones. The ear cups are smaller, the headphones heavier, and the clamping force stronger. Not by much, mind you, but they do not match the epic comfort of the QC35s, and that could be a deal breaker for many certainly is for me. Leave a thumbs up if you agree. Or if you disagree. The 700s also have touch controls and they work just fine. But the buttons on the QC35 twos worked fine as well. So in terms of usability, there's no difference. The buttons on the QC35 twos always worked. Whereas on the new headphones, the new voice assistant button is finicky and doesn't always respond to presses. Well, that's okay. Previous song. Playing all songs shuffled. While that might be fixed with a software update, the placement of the buttons won't. Yes, accidental button presses are very common while picking them up or just feeling these big boy headphones. All right, it's night time. We just did an active noise cancelling test and a sound quality test. Um, what did you think, Kevin? Well, speaking of the uh, noise cancelling, the Bose 700s were clearly better and they have improved compared to the QC35 twos, but the QC35 twos were satisfactory to start off with. And the sound quality difference was even more marginal with the, with the low end being better on the 700s, but it's still the Bose sound signature for me, so that doesn't change too much. Back to daytime. Okay, Kevin, I think we've successfully established that the successor of the Bose QC35 twos isn't very successful. Put it away and zip it up. Now, don't get us wrong. The 700s are actually pretty good headphones. And this video was purely about upgrading from the QC35 twos. And we think for the current price, it's not really worth it. Yeah. And these prices will keep changing. So keep an eye on the links in the description below for the latest prices. If you use those links, it won't cost you anything extra, but will help out our channel just a little bit. Just a little bit. And we will be reviewing the Bose noise cancelling headphone 700. So stay subscribed for that. Yeah, hit that subscribe button, but don't hit that notification bell icon. There's way too many notifications in our lives these days. You've been taking the power back. And we've been DHRME. You know, Kevin, when a company releases new products, you expect them to be bigger and better. But bigger ain't always better. What, what are we talking about here? Oh, yeah. That's whiter than I expected. Hmm.